Welcome everyone to another episode of Atomic Rooster Gaming. Thank you for joining me. I do appreciate your time. I am jumping back into Soma today. This will be the fifth part of my playthrough of this game. This is a first person survival horror game developed by Frictional Games and it was published in 2015. It is an intense game. So, what has happened so far is I am, uh, I went in one day for a brain scan and, um, woke up in a, it's essentially a robot body in the year 2100 and something, at the bottom of the ocean in a research facility, uh, that is decaying and falling apart and kind of haunted. And I've just been trying to figure out uh, what's going on and put the pieces back together. So, if you would like to catch up on the story, you can go back and watch the other four episodes. I will leave a link somewhere at the top uh, for those episodes. Um, check them out. This game is pretty good. So, anyway, we currently just walked into the station Theta. Okay, the biggest one so far, and it's only one besides the power station that we started in that's not full of water yet. I haven't actually found anybody alive. The only people that I do find alive are robots. Your consciousness gets somehow transferred into a robot. So, it's very weird. Um, but it's, it's pretty amazing. So anyway, here we go. We're just going to start exploring this uh, station Theta. I guess it's the biggest station down here. There's a couple more, but on the map that I looked at previously, this was like the biggest place. And it looks pretty huge so far, so I think i got to try to get through this door, but there's a couple of different ways to go. So here we go. Uh, please like the videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell to uh, get notified of any videos that I have uploaded or will be uploaded. Any support that you can offer is greatly appreciated. If you'd like to leave a comment and tell me where you're watching from or tell me what game you're currently playing, what game I should be playing because, you know, I am always on the lookout for the next amazing game. So with that being said, here we go. I hopped onto this, but here we go. Great. What's wrong? Omni tool is not working. Oh, not getting in, huh? Okay. Let's figure this out here. So there is. Man. Oh, 
Alright, so here's the map. Nope, it's a different map than I've seen before, but that shows where we're at in the world, I guess. Okay, so we're right in the middle of the damn Atlantic Ocean. So there, over here on this side is America, North America. Down there is the... Yep. Africa, so we're in the middle of nowhere. But, so there was some type of a uh, comet. There was a comet that struck struck the earth, you know, killed all the life except for the people that were living in this uh, underwater station at the bottom of the ocean. Well, at least so they believe. They haven't really contacted anybody else or been any evidence of anything else because there's been no contact, so they think they're the only people left on, on the earth, but so far I haven't actually seen anybody. It's just a bunch of robots with human consciousness is inside of them. We're here? We're here! Okay, great! Time to hijack ourselves a submarine. There will be nothing stopping us when we have the done that. You guys sure have a lot of machines and vehicles down here. What makes this one so special? It's the only transport that can go into the abyss without cracking like a can of soup. If this is one of a kind, then how did they get the Ark down the abyss in the first place? That's a good question. I suppose they did it the hard way and just walked. Didn't realize that was an option. Kath, what's it like inside the Ark? Is it like a movie or virtual reality? No, of course not. It's, you know, like real life, but slightly better. Pleasant temperature, clean air, good weather. So people in the Ark just walk around pretending it's the real world? You don't have to pretend. It's perfectly immersive. And it can just sustain itself? Yes. Attached to a pro, fueled by solar panels, it could survive for thousands of years. That's amazing. Just thinking about the Earth being what it is, and us setting out to save the final remains of humanity, it's... It's... Heroic? Uh, at least it feels worth doing. Here we go. The Dunbat! Ah, oh, damn it. I knew it was too good to be true. What's wrong? It's... It's... It's quarantined. Hold on. We need a security cipher. How bad is it? It's we don't write these things down type of bad. Maybe someone's still around who can tell us what it is. Hmm. Sure, let's go with that. I'll just unlock the other doors for you so you can explore the station. So what happened to Simon here was he got into a car accident somewhere around our time, 2015, and was having some issues with his brain. So he went in to get a brain scan with some experimental new technology, and they would scan somebody's brain and then make a digital model of that brain and then attempt the different types of procedures or whatever they do, different type of treatments on the digital brain to see what worked. And then, once they found out what worked in the digital brain, they would do it to the physical brain. So they were scanning people's brain. And then what happened was they scanned Simon's brain, and then all of a sudden, this robot just woke up in the future. So we have no idea what happened to the real Simon, but the project they're working on down here is an ARC project. What they're going to do is send a bunch of digital brains. What happened to all the people? Digital this place people looks deserted. Into space. So far. It doesn't make any sense. Data is clearly the best option for survival. Maybe get discovered by aliens or something. I don't know. But yeah, so everyone's been digitized. Uh -huh. are open enough now. I don't really want to go in either one of those super rooms. And at some point I think I'm going to have to go here. I'll still get the active side here. I can't swipe the tool because it's already up there. Okay. So the arc is down at the bottom of the ocean where they have this big super cannon. The only way to keep it cold or keep it from overheating is have it at the bottom of the ocean so it's the bottom, it's super big. So 
so they're going to launch the arc from there, which is why we're at the bottom here. Where the hell did they all go? If Theta is out of the picture, where would you go? Probably Lambda or Omicron? Well, we've seen Lambda already. So maybe Omicron. So, still no live people yet. And then they have these little shiny holes here, so all this is generated by the AI. Somehow. This is all the AI taking over everything. I think it's crazy AI. Um, but, watch this little fist in. Get it in there. What the hell are you doing? I know it looks bad, but it makes me feel a lot better. Helps me focus. That's... I, I mean, that's the wow you're hooking up to. I need it, okay? I wouldn't have made it this far without it. <sighs> Let's just keep going. See? I don't know what it is, but he likes it. Like, the first couple times he just touched it with his finger. Kind of started getting more aggressive with it. Kind of makes me uncomfortable, but either way. All right, we're up there. I'm worried we won't find anyone. Maybe they all helped out with the ark. To carry it to town? Well, it seems excessive, but not out of the question. I don't see any dead bodies or anything. Last place there was bones and stuff floating around. I don't know if I can open the trash can. Dude, this game is crazy. So cool. Like, everything is so interactive. Like, you can pick up almost anything. Stack it, throw it. But there's no... There's no melee. There's no... You don't combat anything. Like, you don't fight anything. You just sneak around this... Crazy thing with... Bright head comes at you. Holy shit, I get a look at myself. Oh, no way. That is so crazy. No, do it again.
fucked both ways. Okay, so this one doesn't have a lock on it. Maybe there's something in here. Let's try this. Out. Holy crap! Yeah, anybody home? No. What is it? Some kind of belief that started, it seems like, that, that people thought that once their brains were scanned, if they killed themselves shortly thereafter, they would end up at the other one himself, the robot, and continue to live on with them. for getting their brain scanned, even though it doesn't hurt you to have your brain scanned. I mean, you know, it's just scanning and making a copy of it, and that copy will be sent into space. Oh yeah, she killed herself for sure. Oh shit, what's that noise? Okay, that's the art, that's what it looks like. Okay. Nice and foresty. So, looks like she killed herself. But her body's not here. Great lights on. Fantastic. Okay. Serang in the continuity, so is this the guy that was, uh... Dude, it says do not enter. Why would I go in there? Hey, that's 
That's my room. You want me to bring something? A souvenir? No, it's just memories. Ooh, we're gonna read her journal. Imogen Reed tested a machine today. It was clearly corrupted by the WoW, which is the AI. But more importantly, it was assembled in a seemingly primitive way, like someone had specifically created it for WoW to steal. Then activated, when activated, the machine mimicked the room and read along with it. At some point, she was scanned and then loaded as a simulation inside the digital space. This presentation shocked Reed and it was quickly terminated. It scares me how much it reminds me of my AR capsule. After dissecting the Vivarium, the machine that Reed activated, it's clear that WoW copied my capsule project to construct the scene to hold the Reed simulation. It's actually very similar in its construction, except for one point. Where my capsule houses flat people, constructed from model virographs, the Vivarium's brain skin lives on. It isn't limited by its content from the originating brain scan read emerged. The read inside the Vivarium was a perfect copy. Wow. I have it. I can save humanity. I can build an artificial reality capsule that can hold every living member of Pathos 2. I can't figure out how it would work with the Vivarium. But I can replicate while scanning technique using the pilot seats. They are already prepared with the type of electromagnetic drums needed. It was even easier than I thought. The pilot seats are already set to allow the diffraction and high energy needed to capture the scan. I suspect WoW has been using the seat to steal scans from us for a while. I guess that explains the mockingbirds. The WoW must have stolen scans from people using the pilot seat and used it as a basis for intelligence in the machines. Wow. With a surprisingly positive reaction from the team, we have now officially started the ARC project. We are to scan all the people we can find and load them into the capsule. Then it will launch, it will launch it into space using the space gun. It's nice to think something will live on like that. Okay. What is this AR capsule? Richard gave me a set of AI templates I haven't seen before. Unfolded one of them to make a new friend for capsule Catherine. Gang of Legacies. New way to simulate turbulence makes the weather system so much better. Implemented Reed it didn't go well. You try with Reed. Reed won't play nicely with others. She is too real. <laughs> okay. So yeah, they scan everybody's brains. But the AI started stealing people's brains, or I guess just stealing copies. So the people that were alive, they still had some of their copies of the robots. You have a lot of toys. Huh. Yeah. You don't throw my stuff. You gotta throw my stuff. Okay. Okay. 
guy. Okay. This I will have entered the Ark. As I have explained, this is accomplished by ceasing to live as your scan is being completed. Not to frighten Catherine, I will do this in secret by folding cyanide salts into chewing gum and placing it in my mouth before seeing her. When I hear her announce completion, I will bite down quickly, causing my own demise. Discover the truth behind my death. No, there's no tragedy to mourn, for I am victorious. I advise you all to do the same and join me inside the ark. Left, right. It's like a scanning chair in there. This is where I did my scan. And all the others, I suppose. You don't remember? My scan was the first. Had to test the scanner before I could start making promises. Oh, 
Okay, so research, cartography, maintenance. Not sure what that bottom picture represents though, but okay. So your brain uses the robot control robot from the scan scene. From the pilot seat from the scan scene. The scanner just makes the scan and stuff with the troubleshooting one. Error code. I'm able to connect to mainframe. Please reset the router in the sub-level vault for contact maintenance. For contact maintenance. Awesome. Uh, Strasky, come in. I need help in the lab. The scan room. What happened? Conrad killed himself after the scan. Jesus, how? Um, laser tool? What should I do? I'm gonna need to tell Strohmeyer. No, please! I'm so close. Strohmeyer's gonna shut down the art project. It's not my fault people keep killing themselves. Catherine, what are you gonna do? It's not like you can sneak a 300-pound body out of the lab. I know. Catherine, are you okay? Not even close. Wow, okay. Oh shit, there's more back there. What is this thing? Look at this. Ah, I see. What? Check the terminal. I just want to make sure. How did this... That was the doctor guy, right? What is this? I was gonna do the scan. Yeah, so he was scanned by Paul Bird. Yeah, David Munchie scanned him. They scanned each other. What is this? Why do you have a file of me? You are one of Dr. Munshi's templates. A legacy scan. That's him. Compressed neurograph. Done by David Munshi, May 2nd, 2015. Simon Jarrett. Death, June 1st. Died in 2015. Okay, that's it. Wow. That was fun. That's a relief. I'm still figuring this out, so... It's freaky. So many lights. What do we do now? Paul and I are gonna run tests for a week or so, and then we'll work out a roadmap to your recovery. Well, I feel excited. Can't wait to get back to the living. We've worked everything out. Everything is legal. Vouched for by Dr. Peak and Professor Wei. Oh, that's great news. No big change in medication. You'll be taking an aspirin every morning, but that's about it. Paul worked out a diet with some variations you should try out. You can continue doing physical therapy. Also, there's some extra cardio training every other day. Okay, you're getting complicated. Don't worry, it's really not. We're gonna keep an eye on you every week, so we'll be able to adjust the plan if needed. The model was sound. It should have worked. 
It's not your fault, David. I really wish things had turned out differently. Yeah, me too. I was supposed to save you. Hey, you got my brain on file. Maybe you can put it to some use. <laughs> yeah, who knows? You'd be okay with that? Using it for my research? Sure. It's like a part of me lives on or something. Like a donated organ. You know what sucks about dying? What? The crash. Everything up till now. The brain damage. You guys, everything. It's made my life so much more real. I started thinking about all the things I was going to do. I'd never been more excited to be alive. All that hope. Wasted. What's a legacy scan? They're historic templates for AI construction. Any self-respecting engineer wouldn't use legacies anymore, but they're great for learning. They come with every development kit. So, my brain scan turned into a template for artificial intelligence. You should be proud. So much for that mystery. No magic or time travel needed. I was here all along. Waiting for someone to shove a picture of my brain into a suit and hit the power button. I pretty much lived in this lab. Cozy. This is where I would store the ARC scans. Are they similar to my legacy file? No, yours is flatter, if that makes sense. Less dynamic. Thanks. That makes me feel much better. mentioned struggling with something called a proxy. The proxy we killed was blind, just like Acres, but it listens. Careful, we spotted two more by the infirmary. What do they look like? Not sure. It seems to be human enough to pass for a crew member at a distance. Tall, dark, and ultimately faceless seems to be what to look out for. I'll keep my eyes open. Alright, 
that was empty. That was not nothing. Probably the room.
Oh shit, there it is. Oh shit, there it is. There he is. Great. Great. Fucking great. Alright, he's gonna come either one of these ways. Which way? Which way? Which way? down there again. Alright, so I had to reset the router to get me over here. I was thinking, with all the people scanned for the Ark, someone must have had access to the Dunbat. If you find a scan of someone who knew the security cipher, maybe we can extract it somehow. Extract from what? What exactly am I looking for? Look for the large racks of data chips in the storage next to my lab. Should be plenty to choose from. Okay. Something about data chips? Anymore. 
We need to find someone who knows the cipher. It's the only way to fire up the Dunbat. Okay. Can I get this thing out of here, though? Or no? She's gonna just kind of hang out. Okay. Let's see what we got on the site. Status. All systems operational. Hull. Subcoat intact 99%. Armor intact 84%. Life support. Wow. Air queen. Medium. Temperature 13 Celsius. Okay. Black box beacon. Holy shit. So there's a whole bunch of black boxes on the upper levels. <coughs> okay, so staff deceased, deceased, site engineer, Heather Wallachek, maybe. We got a Peter Strasky, John Strohmeyer, Richard something, a bunch of guests. Quite a few people still alive, it seems like. Okay. Okay, so did that give me access to the bigger door then? Is that what it, that's what I got for the uh for my troubles down there was access to the bigger door I would hope, right? Someone who knows the security cipher. Okay, but how do I get in there, lady? So where's the scanning chair? The legacy scan of me that was on the computer. What did you use it for? It's a template that has an intelligence pathwork already etched into the base. So if I wanted to build an AI, I wouldn't have to reinvent a whole model. I would be able to focus on the things that the AI is to be used for. Is every AI self-aware? Do they also think they're Simon? What? No, Simon, don't worry. It's not like we just put people into robots and machinery and let them run free. That'd be really cruel, it doesn't work like that. Or at least it didn't used to work like that. Truly sentient machines, thinking they are people is definitely new. But you kept them sentient for the Ark. Yes, and I basically had to invent the method. I need help in the lab, the scan room. What happened? Comrade killed himself after the scan. Jesus, how? Uh, maser tool? What should I do? I'm gonna need to tell Strohmeyer. No, please! I'm so close. Strohmeyer's gonna shut down the art project. It's not my fault people keep killing themselves. Catherine, what are you gonna do? It's not like you can sneak a 300-pound body out of the lab. I know. Catherine, are you okay? Not even close.
Okay, well I have absolutely no freaking idea what that's gonna do for me. I have to find somebody for a cipher? We should really look for a scan. Check the storage. I just gotta try to figure out which one of these has got what I need in it. Heather? Is this the one? I don't even know if this is the one or not. Shoot. No, it won't work. We need someone from Theta Security Group. Okay, so Theta Security Group. what they do though. I like, just gotta randomly keep looking. <clears throat> that one won't work either. Look for security people at Kronstadt or Strohmeyer. Okay, Strohmeyer. Kronstadt? So, Stromai recruited people from the evacuated sites. They should also know the cipher, if you can find one of them.
Okay, try actually reading the info and then pick one. What info? There's no, there's no, like, what do they do? Help out delivering the ARC, killing something because continuity is tight security. Okay, this guy. This guy working for Strohmeyer now. Jeez, please. Very promising. I'll just load him up and get the simulator going. There we are. What are we doing exactly? We're gonna have a talk with Mr. Wan. Use the computer to activate the simulation. That wasn't so bad. Strohmeyer really got me worked up, bastard. What? What happened? Where did everyone go? Don't be afraid. Chun? What happened to I, I can't see anything. There's nothing here. There's no need to worry. No, no, that, that's a lie. You're lying. Mr. Wan, I need you to stay calm. No, 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 no. Why, why are you doing this to me? I trusted you, Chun. I trusted you! Did we just bring that guy to life? I mean, he's a perfect scan, meant for the Ark. He's the real deal. And we turned him off. Took it all away again. I really thought that was going to work. Maybe we can try again. That wasn't so bad. Strohmeyer really got me worked up, bastard. What? What happened? Where did everyone go? Take it easy, Mr. Wong. Chun? What happened? I, I can't see anything. There's nothing here. Don't worry, Mr. Wong. It'll all get better. No, no, that, that's a lie. You're lying. Don't get upset, Mr. Wong. No, 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 no. Well... Wait! Simon, you just reset the simulation. That wasn't so bad. Strohmeyer really got me worked up, bastard. What? What happened? Where did everyone go? Mr. Wan. Chun? What happened? I, I can't see anything. There's nothing here. There's no need to worry. No, no, that, that's a lie. You're lying. Okay, calm down, Mr. Wan. No, 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 no. Well, why, why are you doing this to me? I trusted you, Chun. I trusted you! This setup won't work. We need something else. on a beach and run it. That wasn't so bad. Strohmeyer really got me worked up, bastard. What? How did I get here? Mr. Wan, I need your help. Dr. Chun, is that you? What happened? 
What is this place? Everything's fine. Theta needs your help. We need the new security cipher. Dr. Chun? I hear your voice, but there's no one here. There's no one here! It's empty. It's too empty. There's something really wrong with this place. It's not real! This isn't real! I have to get out of here! Do we need to turn it off? Can we just keep him alive until we've got the cipher? The longer he's exposed to the computer model, the more he'll get hung up on it. So? What's wrong with letting him settle in a little? It would drive him insane. So let's keep the session short and the suffering to a minimum. That wasn't so bad. This room might really got me worked up. Bastard. What? What is this? Where am I? Relax, Mr. Wan. Just keep calm. Dr. Chun? What the hell is this place? I don't have time to explain. I need you to give me the new security cipher. Why are you doing this? Is this some trick? I'm not giving you anything. Please, we really need that cipher. No, you're lying. This is all a lie. Look at this place. It's a fucking joke. Get me out of here, Chun, or I'll punch your teeth in! I think we need to build the scene so it's more what he'd expect. As soon as he starts to doubt, we've lost him. You're right. We need to think this through. We need some more data. I thought that's where he was already at. Okay, whatever, I guess that's it. So he's gonna think he's in the scan room? Congratulations, Mr. Wan. The scan was successful. Chun? Where's Alice? She's fine. We don't have much time, Mr. Wan. I need the new security cipher. What? Why? Why would you need that? This is the trick. Please, this is important. I knew you couldn't be trusted. None of this is real. But you won't break me, Wow. You hear me? You won't break me! How many times are we gonna have to do this? Come on, Simon. Don't give up now. We need to find out more about him. See if you can't get to know him a little. Have a look in his room, go through his stuff. I can do that. You know what? Go look for Brandon's room. Let's do some investigation. I'm sure we can get to him somehow. I'll find it right here, lady. I'm here, okay? There's no map, so I just kind of got to wander into my find what I'm looking for. Here we go. Brandon Wan's room. I'll just override the lock for you. Oh. Why not just override them all then? Catherine. If we get to know him, maybe we can make the simulation a little smoother. Brandon, you ready to go? Strohmeyer says it's time to move. I'm waiting for Strasky and Alvaro to pack up their stuff. Head downstairs, and I'll meet you there. Don't take too long. Don't worry, we're right behind you. Seems like they were getting ready to leave. Heard some lady telling Brandon to hurry up. You got that from the intercom? Must be a transmission buffer. Hang on. That's Alice Coster. Wouldn't have guessed they even knew of each other. Interesting. That's Arizona right there. That's where I'm at.
Air Child Award. August 14th, 2103. Acres finally agreed to evacuate Delta. Goya, Kira, and I moved into Theta today. Acres said he'd stick around for a while longer. That crazy bastard. I take pride in my work, but goddamn. This place is miserable since the surface stopped sending parts. Okay. Did my arc scan together with Seems Alice. like Alice and Brandon did their scans together. Oh, we can definitely use that. Strohmeyer told I think we got this, Simon. Hey, I can synthesize hey, Alice's hey. voice from the intercom and use it to impersonate her for the simulation. We can trick him into feeling safe enough to open up. Oh, Great. Definitely feeling good about this. Good job with the intercom. I didn't know you could data mine. What's it like? It's just something that I do now. So it comes naturally to you. That's really interesting. Yeah, I'll make sure to add it to my dating profile. Did my arc scan together with Alice. Strohmeyer told me that the hangover would basically kill me. Such an asshole. I was fine at first, but got a splitting headache a couple hours later. The biggest pain was that Chun girl. She is so fucking uncomfortable at all times, it makes my skin crawl. Okay. So we're down with Alice. All right, Strohmeyer went ballistic and shut down all future scans for the ARC project. Apparently Conrad wanted in on the continuity and just fried himself right in the pilot seat after the scan. Something tells me we'll be getting new security ciphers. Sweet. I just heard that Komorebe? Como survey team is going to Delta to pick up Acres. He's been alone for months now. Can't imagine what he's been up to. Oh, he's not been doing good. Okay. So we got what we needed anyway, right? Something tells me it's about to get unpleasant. Now, is there still something over here? Because before, if I came all the way over here, still here. No, but there's Peter Starsky's room. I don't know how I get over there. Because once again, there is no map in this game. Just kind of got to figure it out. Alright, here we go. So, oh, you're shit. not worried that there are other Simons or Catherines running around out there? Now I am. Gee, Simon, some thoughts are better left alone. What the hell? Why is that door open, dude? Oh, shit. That door was not open before. Oh, God. Oh, gosh. Okay, so she's going to do the Ashley thing uh, in the scan room. I compiled an Alice module that we can use. So she'll be with Brandon in the simulation? Sort of. I'll still need to do the talking, but it'll sound and look like Alice. He said he needed a new cipher ASAP. 
What should I tell him? It's all right. I could talk to him. Please. Didn't Sean just tell you to take it easy? Don't worry, I'm not going to tell anyone. I do feel hungover. Okay. It's 1729 over 42, 12 over 407. Got it? Yeah, I got it. I'm sorry, Mr. DeLong. Brandon. Goodbye. What do you mean? No, wait. That's enough. We got what we need. Is that what we are? Simulations? Yeah, but it shouldn't make any difference. You're still you. I'm not sure what to do with the data. You decide. I'm certainly not erasing the dude. Can't do shit with those things anymore. Oh man. All right. So we got the cipher. That's good. That's okay. I that door Simon, we got it. We can get to the Dunbat now. Get back here. Coming, but I know any minute now, things are just gonna fall right off the rails. Okay. There you are. Just warming up the Dunbat for us. It's been collecting dust for months, so it might need a minute. Okay, that's it. That's everything. Let's go ahead and... Huh. That's weird. No huh. way. Never mind. What do you need me to do? Head inside the dock. The Omnitool can open the door now. And get into the Dunbat. Then plug me in, and I'll take us into the Abyss. Sounds easy enough. Sure does, doesn't it? Couldn't be easier, right?
damn thing freaked out? That's weird. She said it's all your fault, Catherine. Oh shit. <laughs> That's what I'm always concerned with. I can go this way, but what's the other way? Ah, this is the way to go, sure. Dropping it. Touching the shiny hole. All the way to the elbow. <laughs> Was talking. That's rarely a good sign. Damn it. The Dunbat was our best shot. I was really banking on this to work. Come on, we can't quit now. There's gotta be another way. How do you think you did it? How did the team get the Ark down the Abyss in the first place? If they didn't use the Dunbat, the only other way would be the Climber in Omicron. It's like an elevator which supposedly reaches all the way down into the Abyss. Okay, what? so we do that. We and go to elevator. Omicron and take the elevator. Yeah. Okay. Sure. We'll just head over to Omicron and hope there's a power suit that fits you. You know, so you don't implode while in the abyss. <laughs> that does sound useful. Alright, let's go then. Wait, what is this place? Seems to be a lot of information on the art here. There's a prototype and everything. Okay. Let's start it up. I want to see how it works. Maybe we can figure out how to get on the arc. You didn't know how to get us on? How difficult could it be? What's this thing? That's just a compound examiner. Coster uses it to investigate structural integrity in payload frameworks. Of course. Could you fit inside it? If I knew what you were made of, it would be a hell of a lot easier to figure out how to get you on the Ark. Well, I'll give it a try. Wow. A tight fit. Can you reach the on switch? Oh. 
Should I be worried about radiation? I think we're beyond that. Interesting. You seem to be one with the diving suit you're wearing. Everything's meshed together. How's that gonna work with the suit we're picking up at Omicron? Um, I think they're bigger. You should be able to wear them both. Imogen? Who's that? It looks like the basis for your body is one of my old colleagues. A standard cortex chip for robots, including the data reader and the Ocu torch, has just been forced through the skull. What? Structure gel has fused the whole construction together. Amazing stuff. No, 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 no. Hold on. Back up. I'm one of your old colleagues? Well, your body is. Imogen Reed. That's disgusting. Hey, don't say that. She was my... She was nice to me. Anyway, the cortex chip is good news. That means we can transfer your mind to the Ark with a pilot seat. Kath, I'm half a dead person. Yes, it makes sense. Think about it. All those simplistic minds we've run into? Just reviving a dead person doesn't seem to work that well. A robot body seems to make people a bit unreliable. You are the best of both worlds. A sound mind in a sound body. Yuck. At least we know how to get on the line. Sort of. I understand the concept, but I don't know the specifics. I really wish we could figure out how the scan data is formulated and processed. Oh, I'm sure we can. Approximately 43%. 896 terabytes of memory corrupt. That's a lot of memory. Simulation reconfiguration necessary. Holy crap. Base required type soma. System required general vegetation, okay. Okay. Okay, so exits exit noon requires heat and daylight. Okay. Require type water. Scan forest requires system gen vegetation advanced. Okay. Soma hum requires 
system W mod. Now we're sitting at right here. It says sim base requires type sonar. Okay, so click on that. Scan. Okay, so package soma requires water type light source. Rigid physics, rigid physics soft. Okay, scan force requires system gen vegetative advanced, okay. Uh, Soma home requires system at. Daylight source, okay. Uh, still gotta do the physics soft. How do we switch the scenes? It's not letting me switch the scenes, but okay, so sweet. We need the general vegetation advanced, right? Alright. And then we need Soma. Alright. Soma needs this. Uh interface scan. Light source. Lake is 165, the river is 172. Physics rigid or soft? We're gonna go soft. I gotta have physics rigid too? Damn it. There's no way I'm gonna get all this on here. 
What is the problem? I don't get it. dummy scan shouldn't be that difficult i just want to make sure i understand how the scan data is formulated before we start messing around with the real arc run the simulation and then hit pause while the code is running it'll give me a cross section of the process you need to pause while the dummy is loaded otherwise i can't know if it's working or not No, try again. The dummy needs to be loaded when you pause. Yes, of course. So precise, so perfect. Nothing like admiring your own work. What? Oh, right. Hmm? Are we done here? Can we go to Omicron and get my new suit now? Yeah, we should get going. Want to bring this arc as a backup? No, that wouldn't work. This is just a prototype. Good. I prefer to travel light. Let's go. Don't forget to take me with you. Well, holy smokes, that was, uh... That was a little difficult. Process of elimination, that sort of thing, so... Yeah. Goodness gracious. How much farther we gotta go for this thing? Everyone, that's gonna do it for this episode. I have made it quite a ways. I figured out how to get the arc thing running, the prototype. Now I'm in a hallway and I gotta figure out uh, how to get that elevator up there to work. Um, to get me out of this place so I can walk to the next facility and then take an elevator down into the this and figure out how to launch the Ark into space. So, this episode has gone way, way too long, but this game does not hold your hand at all. You gotta figure stuff out, and run around, there's no map, and it, it takes a while to figure stuff out, so this will be a long episode, but anyway, thank you for watching. Please take a moment to like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you get notified of all the videos that I drop. I do have a bunch of other stuff that, uh, on my channel, and I'm always making new stuff, so. Uh, I'm also looking for a new game to play. I'm thinking maybe Prey from 2017, or, um, 
I don't know. That's probably what I'm going to start on soon. But anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, I do appreciate your time. Have a great day. This is the Atomic Rooster, and I am signing out.